Greetings, fellow noobs, and welcome to another new cast. We spawned on Steps of War with finality here as the blue Protoss in the bottom left, and spawning in the top right is the red Terran Epic Raids. Epic Raids, I believe, is starting his own casting channel. Um, hmm. I bring that up, and I don't know the address, so I can't even tell you what it is. But he's a good kid, so check him out, and uh, <laughs> look him up, I guess. Uh, and maybe he'll uh, put his link in the comments or something. Oh, or he'll send it to me, and I'll put it in the description or something. Or, you know what? I think I have it. I'll get it out there. No matter what. We'll figure it out. Anyway, this is a PVT, if you have noticed, between the Protoss. You have to pick that up from the Protoss pieces and the Terran pieces. And here we are. It's the end of the Christmas weekend. And here in the Northeast, we are getting dumped on by Old Man Winter with a bountiful, plenteous snowfall. Um, it's very cold. It's been snowing for several hours. I haven't looked outside in a while, but I know that we have been getting lots and lots of snow. I am going to speed up the early game here just to maximize our togetherness. As we see a fairly standard build, gateway into core by finality and the racks with a gateway, single gas thus far. Let me get a production tab up for you. Cussive shells being uh, researched. The first marauder is out and going to immediately uh, come up here and to try and do some uh, some damage. Even using his SCVs uh, to come up here and try and... Oh, and now uh, Finality is going to be pulling his probes, almost all of his probes, off the line. Um, as the SCVs work on the Stalker, the probes have worked on the Marauder, and now they're going to be chasing this Marauder who's trying to kite, gets a surround on the Marauder, and is going to take him down. But this SCV is still alive and well in the base, and they did not even try to kill him. So the double gas is down for finality. Another, yet another Marauder out here trying to do some damage. Um, perhaps it would be a better idea to take out this pylon uh, 400 rather than uh, 1,000. But even better still, yeah, kite, kite these probes. <laughs> oh, that's so rich. Kiting a Marauder, kiting a probe. These probes are going to get the surround and going to help the Stalker uh, take him out. And that will do it for him. But uh, Epic's, Epic Raids keeping the pressure on. The Marine and another pair of Marauders He's finally got his second Rax out and working on the third. Stim is down. Finality just trying to get back in gear with his probe. Production. He has four gates up. This is uh, this is not great building position because these marauders could quickly take down these pylons and then, then there would be no production. And that looks like it may be exactly what's going to happen. No, nope, they are bypassing bypassing the probe bypassing the pylons and these probes once again. Man, these probes must have all kinds of kills because they are just racking them up here, getting all kinds of surrounds on these Terran units and. Uh, behaving almost like zerglings, <laughs> uh, keeping them in place while the other units get to fire on them and quickly taking them down. Um, the finality, uh, the problem of course being is that this is all lost mine time for finality while our Terran player upgrades. Um, not the best saturation on the planet, but, uh, and he is, he could, should be dropping a mule immediately. Uh, let's see. Uh, come on, drop that mule, brother. Stim is just about to finish. There's the mule. And we still have a stream, a steady stream, 
of units making their way across the map. Uh, but now we have a sentry out for finality. He's going to be able to block the base of that ramp uh, at will. But as I was saying before, not the best building placement. Uh, even though there are three pylons that are all powering these five buildings still, and now a fourth, um, still going to be potentially problematic. I mean, I don't know if it factors in this game, but uh, if I walked into your base and saw that, you can guarantee these pylons would be going down super fast, and you would not be making any units, and you would be dead. But that's just me. And what do I know? I am a crappy old silver player. Witnessed by the fact that I couldn't win a freaking game to save my life tonight. If I had more time in this particular game, and maybe there's time, we have a we have a barracks going bunker going down outside of Finality's base, so maybe there's time after all. I will spin you a yarn of complaint against the uh, the Battle.net matchmaking system. Actually, I think the matchmaking system for 1v1 is absolutely brilliant, as this <laughs> siege tank can't make up his mind whether it wants to siege or not. Uh, I don't. I think it's impeccable, the 1v1 matchup system in Battle.net. I don't think that they anyone can say anything against it. Um, I've never had a problem with it. Never thought I was being unfairly matched with anyone. Or, now what was that? That was a failed force field right there, Mr. Finality. Um, still, okay, finally getting a robo bay here. Two more pylons. I guess now that you have seven pylons next to your production facilities, I'll shut up about your building placement. Um, However, that being said, our, okay, they're not going to let them draw them out, but that scan is going to give the tanks a little extra vision, and they're once again going to try and draw this, new, this army out to these tanks, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. This is a pretty good contain by Epic Raids. Um, anyway, as I was saying, uh, the 1v1 matchmaking is impeccable. But when you get out of 1v1, the matchmaking is pretty much crap. Um, I know there's so much less uh, respect, I guess, for the competitive play of 2v2, etc. So they don't pay as much attention to it, whatever the case may be. Matchmaking is crap. We, uh, I tend to play quite a bit of 2v2. Um, oh wow, getting these tanks up on the ramp but still not in range of these units, and it would be great. There's the Immortal. Uh, gonna be able to get out there and tank some of this damage. And good force field. Ooh, the Immortal went down immediately. And these units are, I guess they are focusing down that tank. And the zealots are out there going to be able to take down this other tank. This third tank is not in the siege, which I guess, considering the circumstances, is not a bad idea. Uh, these marines are not getting into the bunker, which probably will help kill a few more units before they all died. But, um, no matter. That's a win for finality. He's going to be moving out to the Terran base. And this tank is going to roll up onto the high ground, probably siege right up and wait for this army to approach. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, the 2v2 matchup, oh, there's a strike. Gonna have to pull back out of range of that tank. And let's see where that one is. He, wants to, he just wants to take a peek, so he's sacrificing his other just to see what's going on, see if he can see how big or how much of an army there is going on up here. Not a bad play by finality. Another tank out for epic raids. Uh, going to see jump and have all kinds of vision. Um, finality has done a very smart thing, it pulled back uh, to expand. Epigrade's not knowing that, it's probably going to sit in here and turtle and make a few more guys. Um, but yeah, the problem is, my biggest concern or complaint about the 2v2 matchmaking system is 
um, the random matchups, they, and this is kind of a guess, but it's an educated guess, that the way they do matchups is they match up MMR. So combined MMR. So my partner and I, both silver 1v1s um, and a silver 2v2 team, uh, our combined MMR, let's, who knows what it is, say it's 500, whatever that number means. It's 500. But if you play random matchups, they're looking for a, a similar MMR, and they will put together a 2200 level diamond player with a brand new bronze player. So, and one has an MMR of 400, and the other one has an MMR of 500. Well, it adds up, it's 500, so they're an even match to me and my 2v2 partner, who are silver. Which is crap, because that 2200 level diamond player can, on 9 times out of 10, beat both my partner and I all by himself. And we see another a big attack. Tanks will be taking out. Looks like Protoss does have the advantage here. Um, Though there are no upgrades for either part. But man, is this Terran is going to may actually be taking this. Didn't focus down the tank. Um, but it looks like there is just enough help for the Protoss player to take these last two units out. Um, and maybe go in here and do okay, we have a few more stalkers having warped in um, by this proxy pylon. And going to push this expansion back into the Terran base. Um, oh, we also have a ghost out, so there may we may see some EMPs shortly. And an observer to check out just what's going on. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, is this going to be this? Wow, this number of stalkers. We can, might even see the end. Nope, nope, not going to push. Um, you know, that 2200 level diamond player can beat uh, my 2v2 partner and I by himself pretty much any day of the week. He doesn't even need his crappy bronze partner. So that's not exactly an even match as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what to do to fix it. But it was pretty. When you get that many, <laughs> that kind of matchup several times. Uh, you see that? That little micro? that finality used to take out that uh, that's a good bit of micros just a little scoot shoot um, and you just uh, oh great EMP by the Terran player but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough to get these marauders in the fight epics we did stem so uh, they're gonna with these SCVs may just be enough to clean this up because they do not have their shields and it's gonna be close. Uh, he, he is gonna take these guys out, but we do have four more stalkers coming up the ramp. SCVs, turn around, turn around, SCVs, turn around, where are you going? Stop chasing them! Please stop chasing them! Get out of here, <laughs> what are you thinking? You're not mining anything, come on, dude. We have another command center going down. I'm thinking that Epic Raids thinks that, uh, or knows that this is very much close to the end of this game, so he's just trying to do what he can to uh, keep it alive. I'm guessing that this is going to have to be GG. Uh, pretty exciting game, runs back and forth. Uh, Team, followed by the uh, return of that favor, then we continue down as well. Uh, here in the eternity, retreating and then coming back uh, full force. So, very fun game. Epigrades gives the GG. Thanks to Epigrades for this replay. Uh, very fun game to watch, and. Uh, you know, kudos to you for submitting a loss. Appreciate it. It was a good game. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> just you don't have to worry about my ramble about the two v two match rating system. Uh, it's late. I'm sleepy, so I'm gonna go and go to sleep. And you, however, keep climbing that ladder. Peace.